Alright, welcome everyone back to Let's Play Silent Hunter 4, Wolves of the Pacific. Now, there are some things you need to know, and that's why I'm playing this, um, quick mission. We're gonna play this quick mission to explain something, and then I'm gonna try, um, to replicate a bug I had on the old computer, just to see if, uh, if that is how you trigger the bug. What the bug does is it changes the technology level of when stuff gets unlocked. So for example, I can have uh, Mark 18 torpedoes. Mark 18 and Mark 16 torpedoes in 1942. And the twin 5-inch deck gun. Well, all three of those um, techs, if you like, will be unlocked during 1945 which is when we're playing this. So, yes, sir. Ahead, like. what I'm gonna do, yes, we're gonna play this quick mission. I already had restarted the career. We're, that's that's the main thing. We're gonna have to restart the career. Um, due to me not being able to transfer the save files. So, last time, we were in Surabaya. We docked in Surabaya, completed our second patrol. So we're gonna be restarting again out of uh, the Asiatic fleet. I've got. I went ahead and got the same exact boat. We got the Sea Raven. So we're probably gonna play our first three or four patrols in this area. We're gonna once we get offered a submarine upgrade, we're gonna transfer to Pearl Harbor. Or. Uh, Out of near up I think. There's there's another submarine branch out here somewhere. I forget exactly where it is. But anyway, this is the Sink the Yamato quick mission. bottom of my sub. Here we got this one too. That was pretty. Oh, it's, it's actually fairly deep water here. Oh, are you finally sinking behind us? Did we suffer any hull damage doing that? It, it, yeah, we suffered a little bit. But it's fine. We, it's fine if we take hull damage. The main thing we have to, we're going to have to avoid here are deck, or uh, not deck guns. Uh, shore guns. Shore gun batteries. Radar contact. Lots of radar contacts. Oh. Of course we're getting radar contacts.
Well, we got popped. What is doing that? Periscope damaged. Battery's damaged. It's a shotgun battery way over there. Battery's intact. Diesel engine's ready. Look at him. We just finished, you know, repairing all our stuff. Look how far away he was. Actually, you're gonna have to watch my battery. Surfacing. Radar. It's a ship of some description. Single contact. Again, not that big of a deal. There's gonna be another shore gun somewhere. There's one here, possibly one here. As you can tell, I'm, I really don't care about taking damage. I'm just trying to get there as soon as I can. Two battleships detected, but we're after a little bit bigger prey. I've been here enough times, you would think I'd memorize these uh, shotgun battery locations. Let's see if I actually can destroy it. Cause I mean, it's not gonna hurt me. Yes, sir. Periscope dead. I didn't already know you would do it faster. Oh, he actually hit us. Oh, there's another shore gun battery. There's two of them. There's one there. Diesel engine's ready. And one there. That was the one I was shooting at. There is a battleship. It's an Issei by the looks of it. Is that the late war model? Yep, the aviation battleship version. This is a rare sight. At least uh, for us, when we keep getting stuck in the beginning of the war. I'll bring up the car for it. There it is. The Pagoda Mast. You have 
the catapult launch system and the crane retrieving system. Is our other battleship friend over here the same thing? Looks like it. You see it in the Hyuga. Last time I went through here, there was an I-400 sitting around here. You see, it would be over here. Hello? Those I-400s are unsinkable, by the way. Or even if you do manage to damage them to where they actually start moving, uh, you don't get tonnage for them. Actually, there may be a submarine over here. I have seen a submarine over here. just looking because we can. Well, this port is gigantic. Here's a sub chaser. There's a seaplane. H6K. Well, no submarine for us. We're gonna secure for battle stations. We should be able to make this entire journey underwater. One 
penetrating it. Again, we only made one real hole. So now we wait for the reload. One and five. Aircraft.
There is a crossfire of torpedoes coming your way. I do! Mark 16 torpedo. Mark 23 torpedo. Mark 18 torpedo. I cannot mount the 5 inch double. I, yep, I have radar. I will take the 4 inch 50 caliber deck gun. What's a well oiled uh, deck gun machine? And then we'll just pile on these guys who really aren't good at anything. Okay, let me uh, strip out all of these torpedoes. I even have access to the Mark 27. Which is the most expensive. Hmm. If I wanted to use the Mark 18 torpedo, that'd be a good stealth weapon. It only moves at 29 knots, though. I'll think about it. It is a copy of a German torpedo. A wakeless torpedo would be pretty nice, but... I don't have a problem, and I really like these Mark 16s. So we're gonna load out on the Mark 16. I'm gonna take as many Mark 16s as I can carry.
I can duplicate torpedoes. So we'll just stick Mark 18 torpedoes in here since I'm not going to use them. There is a way to duplicate torpedoes. So we have that taken care of. And if I would have had access to the 5 inch jack gun, I would have totally used it. Because the twin 5 inch jack gun is broken in terms of how powerful it is, but I don't think you can mount one on a Sargo class. So once we get to our Gato, that's what we'll be doing. Uh, so anyway, next time, uh, let's play Silent Hunter 4 Wolves of the Pacific. We'll actually get started with our first patrol. I will see you then.